and they actually were like, where's the guy? Who's the guy walking away? Who's the guy walking away? And I'm like, that's me. I didn't do nothing. You know, I'm just a 22-year-old kid in, a, in an industrial band. Leave me alone. Give me a beer. So somewhere there's an FBI file on you. I hope not. Wow. So it's true. The FBI found a camera in the middle of some field in Michigan and looked at the film and it looked like a snuff movie, like a snuff film, which is someone dying. And they thought it was a cult. And they saw this young man and it was Trent Reznor, but they didn't have any idea. It was 1991 or no, not even 1990. And um, we had filmed the Down In It video. <laughs> And we had fishing line, which was old, on an old Super 8 camera on a balloon to create our crane shot. You know, because, you know, instead of using a real crane, we just, like, they, the, the guys from the video directors, uh, Ben Stokes and Eric Zimmerman, <laughs> like, just stuck a Super 8 camera and pressed play, and then the uh, balloon went up, but the fishing wire got caught on something, and it broke free, so this camera with Trent Reznor lying on the ground and me walking away from him and I was walking away backwards because they were gonna they were gonna reverse the film so that it would come down and you know go down on Trent Reznor's face but it it didn't so this cop finds this this camera in a field they develop the film and they think oh my god this kid is dead. So the this this amazing sergeant or whoever uh, who was just about ready to retire, like had to solve this murder in his mind. So he they looked at the film. They had noticed that there were some L tracks, so they knew it was probably Chicago. And they started. They used the map and they went in and they started asking questions and. Uh, Sure enough, the FBI got involved because they were trying to figure out what this was about. And all of a sudden, they go, "Is they go? Who is the who is the man in this video? And is he dead?" And they were like, "No, that was for a music video. Sorry." And they were like, "Well, you you know, blah blah blah." So eventually, it ended up John Mom calling up um, Trent Reznor, going, and that was the manager of Nine Inch Nails, going. Trent, are you dead? And he's like, no. And he's like, the FBI are on the other line and they want to talk to you. Because they found that video, that the vi the, the, they found the, the, the camera that broke free during that video that you made a year ago. You know, and he was like, oh my God. So it ended up getting on hard copy. A year after a film murder scene landed in a cornfield hundreds of miles from Chicago, police and FBI narrowed the case down to the victim's identity. They could be excused for wishing they'd never found him. I actually felt bad for the police officer. He was trying to like do something good and 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 uh, and uh, bring you know the murderers to to justice or whatever. In his mind, he was trying to solve a crime. So, but Trent actually thought it was really funny because he was making a fool out of the authorities, and you know it was like a practical joke. But it wasn't a joke, and. You know, it was just an art. It was just a bad camera. <laughs> it was a bad camera crane, you know. And I felt kind of good that the police made idiots of themselves, you know. Did you say idiots? I saw the report. We taped it. We laughed. You know, we were we were dying. I was like, you can't buy press that like that awesome. I know, I know. It's more like nine inch noise. And we were like, we're going to be on hard copy? No way! Like, we were so happy. Like, you know, we were like, our band was a tiny little band. And, you know, with Bon Jovi and all this stuff on the radio, we, we thought Nine Inch Nails was always going to be this underground thing. But, you know, so I was like, yeah, I just can't believe that we were on hard copy. And my mom and dad are going to, you know, see it and blah, 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 you know. 
Hi, this is Richard Patrick from Filter. Subscribe to Louder Noise, the loudest noise on earth.